what's up y'all it's your boy db so it's been a while since i made a video but i gotta make a video so just so you guys know uh there won't be no intros won't be none of that happy stuff i'm pretty much done making fragrance videos uh, i've been done doing fragrance videos for a while other things have just taken my time and i lost a lot of interest and sold all my frags so Anyhow, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Ross Carlos. <laughs> you, you know, sometimes you, you, you think you're done making videos of somebody and they, they do something retarded again. And then George Zaharoff. <sighs> if I ever seen two people in my lifetime that are so infatuated with money and fame, it's these two jackasses. Okay, Ross Carlos for being probably one of the most overrated, worthless fragrance reviewers I've ever met in my entire life. And George Zaharoff for being such a money hog to use probably one of the most unpopular, the one of the most sub buying, one of the most hated fragrance reviewers uh, in Fragcom to go grab money. Of all the people you could gather up to get money, and you choose TLTG, <laughs> George, what little respect I have for you, I've lost. 100%. Your name's never going to come out of my mouth again. You're not. You're a waste of my damn time. I, I'm, I'm not even going to go on. You know, the, the love of money overtakes common sense. So now for all of y'all who've seen me come out before, and tell you that TLTG was completely funded by George Zaharoff and all that other good happy shit. Go back and watch my videos. I'm not going to get into it. Here's the proof in the pudding. Okay. I, I, I'm so sick of how so many people feel like they got to suck TLTG off. You know what I mean? It, it, it's amazing to me. You either really like the guy or you really hate the guy. And I know more people that really hate the guy than really love the guy. Make no doubt about it. So, here, here's my thing on people who are fragrance reviewers making their own fragrances, okay? This is my thing. Ready? Be fucking creative. Make your own fucking fragrance. I did it five times. It's always a money grab. It's not for the love of fragrances. If you did, you would make your own fragrances, put that shit in what you like, instead of having somebody else make the fragrance for you. It's called having a brain, Scarecrow. It's amazing to me how these guys can get on here and, and do all these fragrance reviews, totally suck at it, but also suck their way into getting what they want. It's amazing. A car salesman quits his job <laughs> and relies on the fragrance game. It's all money grabs, y'all. It's all money grabs. Y'all see it. Y'all have witnessed it. Here we go again. You know what I'm saying? I don't have any more time to spend on these guys. I, I, we've me and 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 Dogman have come to you guys so many times, showing you guys all the proof you need to see, and. It just, I don't know how much more we need to put in front of you before you realize, hey, them guys knew what they were talking about. We know what we're talking about. We've been exposing these guys forever. These fucking guys need to get creative, man. I've made five, and I'm about ready to come out with my sixth personal fragrance. I've done it myself. I bought the oils, I put it together, I smell it, and I send it off. I've never had one negative review that I know of. If there is, please let me know. I'll see what I can do about it. You understand what I'm saying? But it, it just amazes me, the money grab at $200 a bottle. It says Zaharoff for TLTG. Like he couldn't even be creative and just say, it's a TLTG fragrance powered by Zaharoff or something of that nature. <laughs> he, he had to make sure he put the Zaharoff name on there because he knew the fucking TLTG shit wouldn't sell. It's, it's amazing, man. It's amazing. But your fragrance is just like your reviews, I'm sure. Pure bullshit.
I guarantee you it smells exactly the way your attitude is. Shitty. So enjoy that $200 for 50 ml bottle, y'all. Soak it up, buy it up. Because some of you little fucking groupies are going to buy that shit no matter what. Because it says TLTG on it. Have fun, man. Do yourself a favor. Make sure when you resell it again, like what happens with every other fragrance review, uh, their bottles are always getting freaking Steve from Red Alessence's shit's always being resold. You can't, you find that shit everywhere. Re resold, 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 resold. <sighs> I've wasted six minutes of my life. I'll never get back on a bunch of jackasses. I mean, it just, it, it just never fucking amazes me anymore. I don't know why I make videos and seem so amazed. It's like follow the fucking money trail. You guys didn't see this shit coming for a long time when the dude's 500 fucking subs, then he's at 1,000 subs, and like less than a year later, dude's at like 10,000 subs. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking his, fucking, his reviews suck big balls. Everybody knows it. I, I just, I haven't met too many people that really like the guy, except other ass kissers, of course. Ass kissers kind of, you know, stay together, you know, like a, like a cult, you know what I mean? Keep smelling good, y'all. I won't be gone forever. If something comes my way and I need to make a review of it, I'm going to do it. If something like this comes up and I have to address it, I'll do it. But this this is it's getting old and it and they all smell the fucking same anymore. It's like Dan Naughton's cologne's the only cologne that I smell come out that didn't smell like every fucking thing else. There there may be some other ones in there I'm missing, but <sighs> Be fucking creative, man. George Zaharoff created a fragrance, put the TLTG name on it so they both could make money. It's easy. Money grab. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. It's DB. I'm out.